and we go and have a look at this thing called SiteKit, which is the so just by clicking on the what's that called admin bar you can see how many different times this has been shown in the results to some people and how many times people have actually looked at it i believe that's what it's trying to show us let me go to the dashboard and choose site kit and go to the dashboard there And it will show us for the search stuff, how many people have viewed it, how they're accessing it. So what's that spike, um, Herb, that one there? Probably. Was that when you announced the um, meetup? Might have been. It might have been me looking at it. Okay. <laughs> lots and lots of views. Look, five yeah. users on the 15th of November. How many were there on? This happens to me on, is it Google Search Console? And they say they're, they're robots. Every now and then you get a big spike. No, not when it's that figure. 30. 30, yeah. the robots are doing lots. So what have we got here? So there's a, there's a figure that shows how much the website has been viewed. Here it is broken down by how they got there. So direct queries, organic search, referral, and social. So that's where people are coming from Facebook or Twitter. That's where, that's where they're doing a search, and this is where they're typing in the IP address, no, no, the URL. And this is where they're coming from. United States, China, United Kingdom. So there's some people from the UK actually use this website, but mostly Americans and Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> and this is this is the devices that they're using. So most people are on their desktop, very few on a tablet, and so on. And that is the output from the search console, is it? How do you explain? This, yeah. this is looking at WP Pompey, is it? Yeah. And you say you've got a lot of Chinese uh, yeah. visitors. Mm. Big in China. I find this hard to believe. Yeah, well, let's, let's have a little look. So what they're searching for is Southern England. And apparently our website appears appeared a thousand times about Southern England and two people actually clicked on it. And, and that might take you to the page which is wordpress meetups in southern england and they're also searching for weird and other other weird and wonderful hmm. things the bottom one's a strange one 256 but 256 jpeg yeah well that's probably because we um, talk about it but the um it's no longer showing the the four or maybe it's showing the 404 somewhere else so that's the that's part of what's set up. There's a search console connection to your Google. Oh, let's go to settings. There's a search console thing which sets up first of all, and that, that enables you to look at the searches type stuff. Then if you want Google Analytics, you can connect that as well. And if you want PageSpeed Insights to be run, you can connect that as well, which is what I've done. And then there's more services, AdSense, which is for advertising, and then two others, which are, I have no idea what they are. Tag Manager is some fancy thing to break down your analytics into more detail and optimizing for creating A and B tests. So you can set up one page looks like this, another page looks like that, and have a look at the results you get for it. So. We've only got three set up, which is Search Console, Analytics, and Page in Speed Insights. Let's have a look at the Analytics page. Now, this uses, uh, what's it called? GA4 or something? There's a yeah, new, the latest flavor. There's a new flavor of Analytics, which it sets up. And when you go and install this on your website, and and you're trying to replace the plugin that you had before for analytics, 
then it says, right, I need to connect you to Google. And it goes through a two factor authentication pro type process saying, do you want to do this? Google needs to connect to do this. And you just click on the buttons and it says, I need to do that. And you click on the button and I need to do that and you click on the button. And it all seems to happen automatically. And lo and behold, you're connected to the system. And now I don't think that the plugins will be, or plugin will be doing much work when you're visiting the front end, other than to make sure that the appropriate JavaScript is delivered to the page. And this stuff will only should only really kick in when you're logged in. And look, if, when you are logged in and you're looking at the site get stuff, it doesn't bother to put the stuff at the, at the top, which it did on the other page. Oh. So the analytics says 151 users, people bounced off the website very quickly. Or did they? If they were on there for 40, 57 seconds. And here's where they're coming in to visit things. And lo and behold, we have this marvelous link. They come to look at WP better than recapture vapture.net, which is spammy requests. Tell us all about that, Steve. Uh, what do you mean that what I mentioned last time about? Ghost, ghost results in what, Google Analytics spam. Yeah, yeah. Best best things ever read that article I put I mentioned mm. that I wrote on my blog. So yours is that was a few years ago. Has it changed since you wrote that article? I haven't heard much, many reports of it, so I don't know if it's still as bad as it was. But certainly went through a peak then, and it it was noticeable the, the biggest issue was why why they were doing it because you couldn't see what they could actually get get any benefit from it other than just screw up your analytics data right. with analysis you, is you it just to make is it just to make you click on the link to go and visit whatever they're trying to do well that was the other other theory was that uh, if you click on the link in the results that it could send you through to some dodgy yeah, it's traffic. Right. That's what they're looking. That's what they want. They want traffic to their website, and it's a very strange way of getting it. But that's what they're actually doing. Number nine as well is the same, isn't it? Yeah, mm. yeah. So it's just a slightly different version of the mm. of the link. And here's the one where that was the links to the oh the Slack. Uh, how to get connected to Slack. So that was the new one one I'd done, and and now since this is showing results for. Is it just showing the top 10 here? And of course, if I want to see more, you then just click on this link and it will then take you to the analytics for it. So this is fairly useful. If we go and have a look at the front end, uh, do I need to log out? No, you should be able to just click on Word Up Pump, it'll visit site, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm logged in, so maybe it doesn't produce it for us. And then we do new page source and we can see what should we look for. So you used to search for UA hyphen to get your analytics because that was what the code was. Yeah, there we go. So is that it? Is it just that? Yep, yep. Google Analytics. So it's not there. so is it not using the new version then or is it using the new version? I think it might be using the old version. Uh, there's two. Oh, there's a bit above here. Yeah, there's a bit there's more the new there, stuff. Isn't there? Yeah. There's the new stuff. And there's the old stuff. They're, they're doing both. It does run both side by side, doesn't it? I don't know. Oh, right. I know you can add in GA4, mm -hmm. but I don't know whether you can actually turn, whether you have to do something else to turn off the older version. Hmm. Yeah, they really? recommend that you run both because GA4 is still evolving. Right, okay. And it reports that you used to find in the standard universal analytics, which I've always found quite useful, <laughs> no longer exist in the new version. So it's quite quite different. So if you set up a new account, it goes straight straight to GA4. Yeah, yeah. 